हरे कृष्णा नामा जपा एकादशी यज्ञ की सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अवर सेकेंड सेशन लेट मी चार्ज योर बैकग्राउंड माइंड वंस अगेन चैंटिंग एंड हियरिंग इस एक्शन ऑफ डूइंग एंड नोइंग and that is done by the foreground mind foreground mind is the action mind doing mind knowing mind and the background mind is a directing mind feeling mind relating mind context mind it gives the purpose you chant and hear with the foreground mind with the purpose in the background mind the purpose is to associate with the nama prabhu to worship him to associate with him and receive mercy from him by touching him in the form of hearing so where is that purpose your background should be charged with that purpose then that is called meaningful artavat japa and if you chant and hear as per the direction that for every chant you should hear if you lock the attention like that that is called vidivat japa japa as per vidhi japa artavat japa with japa with a purpose in the background and shila prabhupad's golden command that you should chant and hear exactly that same sound you should hear that anusarana bhavana obedience i am executing this seva of japa as per the instruction of my spiritual master so have a feeling of obedience feeling of surrendering feeling of following shila prabhupad's instruction that feeling is backed with great faith that if i simply follow what prabhupad said all good fortune will come unto me so the first mala whenever we begin our japa we should take permission from shila prabhupad who has given us the nama to do the nama seva and request his help to successfully do this seva of 16 rounds the second mala is shraddha mala this all malas foreground action is common first mala second mala third mala 16 mala japa means foreground mind is constant what is that chant and hear that very sound you can have varieties of background varieties of bhavanas in the background not varieties of thinking bhavana means feeling thought feeling a thought that has been converted into a feeling just like if you become angry and on someone there is a reason there is a thought behind it but you are not thinking of the thought but you are simply angry so when a thought becomes highly emotionalized then it becomes a bhavana krishna is described as bhavagrahi janardana one who takes who absorbs who receives your genuine feelings for him genuine helplessness genuine eagerness to receive his mercy all this krishna receives nama prabhu immediately receives it from your offering so chanting and hearing and feeling is 
the rule chant hear feel don't think anything if you have to think to generate feeling then you have not sufficiently worked hard to understand to reflect to contemplate on those thoughts that is why these cards have been made where not only during japa you take them you have to have a systematic practice over one year how to read read these cards understand what is written there then start and be convinced about it yes this is a fact let it become first an understanding then convert those cards into a conviction after conviction you convert that card in emotionalize this card that bhavana becomes emotionalized just like bhavana or shraddha krishna is krishna's name this is understanding how krishna is krishna's name because he is absolute etc etc there is no difference between him and his body this is called conviction you contemplate on that guru sadhu and shastra it becomes conviction simply understanding philosophy is is okay krishna is krishna's name and then you go on chanting no from understanding to conviction from conviction you should it should become emotionalized means when krishna comes before you what you would feel that is shraddha's developed bhavana you feel you become immediately reverential you become attentive you become respectful simply saying krishna is krishna's name philosophy that respectfulness does not come so it has to move shraddha has to move through pre japa work on reading these cards and prac contemplation that krishna when he is when i chant krishna is before me that shraddha what is krishna's mind if he is before me he is mercifully he has come down krishna nama nama prabhu's mercy nama prabhu's sound he is speaking to you it's a chinmaya shabda i have come down for you i come down to lift you out of this samsara i come down to deliver you out of that samsara i come down to reclaim you from the samsara by giving you association and also gifting you as much as you want as much you desire for anartha nivritti nothing i shall force upon you if you desire anartha nivritti i'll give you if you desire nishta i'll give you if you desire asakti i'll give you if you desire prema i'll give you if you desire bhava i'll give you this is the conversation of the holy name who is on our tongue when kamman comes before you how do you feel him his mind what does he think what does he want to give why has he met me why is he come to me what is the purpose of his coming when you understand all that then you establish a rapport with him similarly krishna is before us what is his mind why has he come to me as a nama avatara these things you have to contemplate as per guru sadhu and shastra then it becomes very natural to feel the nama prabhu to feel nama prabhu what is the ego of nama prabhu the ego of nama prabhu is i am krishna's name i am non different from krishna himself i am krishna's name i can deliver you from this samsara i can purify you provided you want 
chant and hear and associate. That is the ego of Nama Prabhu. How do you feel some person is before you? By feeling his ego. Is it not? Not by feeling his body, by feeling his ego. Now this Nama Prabhu has come in the sound body. Krishna has taken Nama Shabda Avatara, Shabda Sharira. So entire Japa means we are serving the Nama Shabda. We are serving the Supreme Personality Godhead in His Nama Rupa. There is so much love and compassion on behalf of the Lord to have come to me, to awaken my love and for Him. So in that mood, that is the mood of Shraddha, second mala, you practice. Shraddha. Shakti Aveshanama. Krishna comes down. He is the Surya of Satchidananda. The Surya Kirana, the Surya rays are the energy of the sun. They are Sat energy, Chit energy, Ananda energy. They are infused. All the Shaktis are infused in the name that I utter with my tongue. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Immediately that sound is not ordinary sound anymore. Though it is a sound you generated, Krishna has taken that Sharira just for us to associate with Him with our attention. Hearing with attention is association with the Holy Name. Shabda Avatara means there is two ways of Rupa Avatara means you can see God. Shabda Avatara means you can serve God by two things that Shabda we can do. What can we do with Shabda? We can speak and we can hear. So Shabda Avatara has to be worshipped by speaking and hearing. Speaking means uttering Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Simultaneously as you chant, concurrently you hear. And by hearing, the Shabda goes into my mind, into my Chittam, in, very deep into my heart and touches my soul. We will spiritually awaken ourselves, our original consciousness more and more if we send the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra into our heart. If our attention is not there in hearing, only by hearing the sound can go into the heart. So therefore it is so important to hear. Suppose I chant Hare Krishna, I think something. Then my thought is what my heart is connected with. The sound is stopping at the ear. But if I hear, that sound is going and touching my heart. The whole principle of Japa works like iron put in the fire. You have to put our soul in the fire of this sound. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama, Rama Hare Hare. It is a fire of Satchidananda. Simply by torching our heart with the fire of Satchidananda from the Nama Prabhu, by hearing the Nama. When you chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra into the vessel of that chanted sound, Krishna Nama, who is non-different from Krishna, who is Nama Prabhu, he enters as Nama Avatara into that sound. So you invite the Lord by chanting. Welcome Him, He comes into the chanting. And then you take him through the years. So Krishna is so kind. In order to come and cleanse your heart. In order to come and cleanse your asat, achit and nirananda in your heart. I am Satchidananda Surupa. I will come into the sound that you chant. Please take me inside through hearing process. 
eagerly hear take this sound into your heart and torch your soul with the surya of sachidananda and transform your life transform your heart burn away all asat achit and nirananda sat energy from me will destroy asat energy in your heart chit energy from me will destroy the achit ignorance in your heart ananda energy from your heart will destroy all your false material pleasure beliefs in your heart complete freedom from material nirananda nirananda means ananda that looks like ananda but not real ananda nirananda fake ananda fake happiness fake pleasure fake love fake security all those things should be replaced with krishna nama shaktis from krishna nama so the second mala is basically about feeling the presence of krishna not it is an empty sound it's a chinmaya sound chinmaya sound means it's a person a person who is coming as a sound not that sound which is a person becoming a person no a person and who is that person nama prabhu and he is coming as a sound he converts himself he transforms himself into a sound into a sound that is similar to the sound that you utter so it is a sachidananda chinmaya sound entering the jada sound that you chant that jada sound no longer is jada because it is a fire of sachidananda the sound that we chant also becomes sachidananda sound just like electrical wire when electricity goes it's no longer ordinary wire it is electrified wire similarly the sound that i hear tangibly here it is not ordinary sound is not jada sound chinmaya shabda chinmaya current is running through it and chinmaya is whose chinmaya whose chit whose consciousness krishna's name as i said krishna's name is krishna's if you ask nama prabhu who are you nama prabhu will say i am krishna's name non different from krishna i can purify you i can remove all your anarthas everything i can soak you in sachidananda sarvatma snapanam i can bathe you cleanse you take you to krishna that is who i am i can make you dance in krishna prema that is what i am who i am i can reveal to you krishna's rupa leela everything that is who i am worship anybody who worship this nama prabhu nama avatara gets the blessings of nama avatara who is so merciful it is said that nama avatara is more merciful than krishna krishna's nama avatara the personality krishna's rupa is there krishna's nama is there krishna's nama is more merciful than krishna's rupa that we all know that our life has changed in spite of no devotion by simply by associating with this nama 
whatever changes happened in our life one should understand because of the touch of the hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so mala to is shraddha then priti shraddha plus priti priti chant and hear with priti shraddha is a fundamental and a, the quality if there is no japa the quality of japa is flat first quality of japa comes that background you should feel the presence of the lord presence of the compassionate lord presence of you can you can feel the presence of somebody by only feeling his his feelings you feel his compassion the very fact that he has come as nama avatara feel his compassion and then you feel his presence feel him feel him telling you you hear me don't think don't waste time when i come before you don't waste this opportunity hear me transform yourself chant and dance in bliss a day will come will dance in krishna prema i can deliver you that my leela on this earth as a nama avatara is to distribute krishna prema i am chaitanya mahaprabhu sound representation of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu come down to freely i have brought down chaitanya mahaprabhu says he has brought down the transcendental names of radha and krishna into this material world and infuse them into the sound that you utter just so that simply by association we can transform please understand the entire principle of japa how it affects how it changes is this is by association that is why prabhupad that example of iron put in the fire is extremely important for us to understand the workings of nama prabhu workings of japa how you get the result how you don't get the result if you miss hearing so shraddha and preeti one when when do you feel preeti towards someone you feel preeti towards someone when you know that he has preeti towards you yes or no you love someone who loves you and simply the fact if your shraddha preeti will automatically come shraddha that krishna is so mercifully compassionately to pick me up from this material world pick me up from the three gunas he has come into this on my tongue how much preeti he is having for my soul my soul may be haunted with ahankara i may be almost a karmi but still krishna cares for my soul for my soul he has come down how much he loves my soul when you feel his love for your soul when you realize that he has come down for you on your tongue to go into your heart automatically you will you will receive him with preeti so we have to receive nama prabhu with preeti chant with preeti hear with preeti next mala practice is to chant krit purvaka japa chant from the heart this is to ensure that our japa does not become mechanical because it is the same mantra if shraddha goes away that krishna is before me if the shraddha goes away from the background mind the tendency is simply mechanically repeat and fall down into thinking thinking during japa is a fall down because krishna is before you instead of holding him you are falling down so shraddha japa preeti japa hrit purvaka japa hrit purvaka 
from the depth of your heart you chant and hear don't spare anything hritpurka japa means heartful spiritful mindful tongueful hearful japa don't spare any to total self you are you engaging in krishna nama seva and nama prabhu will be very pleased he will sh- he'll shine in your heart transcendental realizations through his chit energy sat energy and give you transcendental taste divya chesta shakti the ananda shakti he will give you he will give you the taste of his love preeti ritpuru ka japa delightfully don't chant no problem you may be a neophyte starting as a neophyte it may be ritual nothing wrong ritualistic chanting but we are talking about why you limit yourself to ritualistic chanting do hit hrit purvaka japa heartfully chant krishna is waiting for you to heartfully chant and and joyfully hear and hearing aghlada hearing nama prabhu with the soul delight delightfully with a with with joy you should hear why because the joy of great opportunity god has come before me how much joyful you should be if a if a very important vip who is your role model you have been admiring him adoring him he come to his house come to your house how much thrilled you will be how much joyful you will be that he has come to receive my service like that we should be joyfully hearing delightfully chanting and joyfully hearing all this in the background you are embellishing foreground mind chanting and hearing and background mind is feeling then sambandha japa is every bead should be a relationship with nama prabhu that is why if you have no shraddha how will you have a relationship you don't you, in the background you don't know krishna is that is krishna before you then how will be sambandha japa may basic sambandha is helplessness helplessly praying to the lord nama sevak the basic sambandha is nama has come now i am serving him by chanting and hearing chanting and hearing without giving my doing and knowing for anything else without giving my desiring for anything else sambandha japa i am a nama sevak what is in sambandha in any relationship how what relationship you chant with is very important suppose i am very proudly come and speak to you then relationship will be different suppose i come to you very humbly and speak to you i respectfully come and speak to you sambandha will be different so sambandha depends upon your egotism so during japa trinadapi sunechena tarorapi shaishna you have to adjust your you have to practice proper egotism not in bodily concept of life i have money i have this security my life is safe all that egotism should go away you should chant and hear like a pauper what i have is not shashwat anything can go away including this body pure egotism of pure dependence upon the supreme lord every bead should be chanted as a sambandha japa not as a ritual because every bead krishna is coming one time the shabda swarupa is 16 shabda mala 16 chinmaya sound becomes one chinmaya sound hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so that is sambandha japa sharanagati japa basically the person the japa doer is surrendered to nama prabhu surrendering my life is yours i am yours nama prabhu do whatever you want my future is yours 
my present is yours my past is yours i surrender everything unto you do whatever you want with me and immediately krishna nama prabhu receives that surrender you will feel so much relief simply unnecessarily in our material world we are carrying burden of our life in our head because we do not surrender to krishna i life our life will be krishna's burden not our burden when you take it as our burden we are living a life of ahankara forgetfulness of krishna that is material life so sharanagati mala surrendering the total self to one to nama prabhu and not only speaking that during the day you practice surrendering your action accepting things favorable for bhakti rejecting things unfavorable for bhakti all those cards are there that will remind you every day you see that then you will understand what is surrender what is surrender fully goes into you you read those cards sambandha sharanagati then kripa apeksha iron put in the fire becomes red hot because of heat coming from the fire into the iron in the same way our life changes when we associate with nama due to receiving kripa from him actual energy sat energy chitta energy ananda energy is mercifully shown into shined into our heart then suddenly when when achit goes and chit comes you get enlightened i am not this body i am not independent i am eternal this body comes and goes so also chit you will see the whole world differently you will not see the world as bodies you will see the world as conditioned souls you will see the body is separately conditioning each soul so that is chit shakti krishna has to shine that in our heart so kripa so kripa shakti kripa kripa apeksha apeksha means begging chanting and in the background you are begging please nama prabhu give me your mercy chit mercy sat mercy ananda mercy and then nama prabhu as i told you nama is a personality nama is is a chinmaya shabda a chinmaya shabda is nama chintamani whatever you pray to him gets fulfilled nama chintamani so you are praying to nama prabhu please awaken me enlighten me i have forgotten you let me remember my eternal relationship let me have a life of krishna consciousness let me make me save me from this life of samsara one body to another body to another body to another body in total forgetfulness and not only human bodies animal bodies abrahma bhuna loka punaravartana arjuna completely get lost action and chain reaction and action and reaction once from the human body you fall into a animal body there no guarantee when what is your future course one animal to another animal to another animal maybe after millions of lives you may again come into a human form padam padam mad vipadam natesham that is why this world material energy is very dangerous so only krishna can always protect us so we should become attached to nama prabhu and ask for his kripa so that i have spiritual shakti not to fall for maya maya means asat achit and nirananda not to fall for maya so with that kripa apeksha in the background we should do japa we should practice mala 9 with kripa apeksha charanashraya faith that the lotus feet of the lord is my only shelter my i everything for everything i depend upon ashraya i depend upon the lord i am not independent 
and i am sure that when i take ashraya of you you give me full shelter you never let me down once i take ashraya of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and if dependence continues krishna will never let down that devotee he will always take care of that devotee that is charanashraya vinamrata chanting with humility that i already explained to you what kind of egotism with which you should be chanting most of the time we are walking around with false egotism with our false social ego all social ego you should keep it down during japa you should think yesterday i have died from this body then cut off all relationship everything that you have because when you die you will forget all your present friends your mother father father organization everything you will forget no when you die so then you, th- you should think that yesterday i have died i have nobody i have no one i have nothing i have no organization i have no iskon i have nothing i only hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare beautiful egotism exclusive dependence upon the nama nama prabhu will love that if you give that bhavana he will love that bharta patra that krishna is my only maintainer whether whether it is coming through this or that or whatever it is my maintenance is coming through my father or my mother or from my organization or from money that i have whatever it is they are all only instruments but i being a devotee of the lord i wanting to go to krishna i am personally maintained by krishna this is very very important to feel the relationship of bharta patra so practice one mala of krishna nama prabhu you are my only maintainer it is a fact also from the time nama prabhu came into your life he has been maintaining you raksha patra protection the greatest protection we need is from maya protection from bodily danger social danger these are all material dangers the biggest spiritual threat danger is what forgetting krishna going into maya so therefore raksha patra mala you should chant with the background feeling of krishna is my real protector krishna is a real protector from illusion his chit shakti shines on me i will always be free from illusion his avidya shakti shines on me immediately i go into illusion so protect me from avidya you and not only protect me you are asking you are recognizing that you only have protected me therefore today nama is on my tongue you only have protected me from maya therefore japa is on my tongue bharta patra also for the past whatever continuously krishna has maintained you practical realization when you think of the past bharta patra and raksha patra then with great faith because in the material life we have got so much of our sense of security sense of security in money sense of security in friends sense of security in people who help us sense of security from from our own abilities i can do this i can do that i can earn i have this capability that capability these are all false security clean them all up and simply every day one mala of raksha patra and bharta patra exclusively 
Nama Prabhu is my protector. Nama Prabhu is my maintainer. Nama Prabhu is my provider. Nama Prabhu is my inspirer. Everything for me is Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Then, Bharta Patra, Kritajnarpana, express gratitude for Nama Prabhu, first for coming down and shining his Satchidananda in our heart to save me from this material world, express gratitude on Mala, express gratitude for all the flow of Satya Shakti, Chitta Shakti, Ananda Shakti, express gratitude for all the spiritual realization that Krishna Nama Prabhu has given you since the day you touched him. Recall all the the Kritajnata for all some specific instance of Nama Prabhu saving you, giving you realization that you are not the body, giving you realization of cheating, cheating proposals of Maya, cheating nature of lust, Kritajnata. Feel grateful for those realizations. Kshama Apeksha. Oh, Krishna himself has come before me, yet my mind is such a rascal, I have neglected him and I have simply mechanically chanted so many times. Please, I beg, I beg forgiveness. I will improve myself for neglecting your presence. For mechanical japa, I beg forgiveness from you. Kshama Apeksha. Then Seva Apeksha. Begging Nama Prabhu. Not only I want Nama Seva, throughout the day I want Krishna Seva. Nama Prabhu has come down with a mission to deliver the living entities in this Kali Yuga. It's a huge mission. There's no mission in this world which is bigger than the mission of Nama Prabhu. Everybody in the material world, every company has a mission, everybody has a mission. But global universal mission, the biggest mission in the world is Krishna's mission. And Krishna's mission is to deliver all living entities. So please give me seva in your mission. Let me serve, serve you in spreading your glories. In telling the world that your incarnation is mercifully come down. In telling the world to take advantage of your association. Telling the world that save yourself and get yourself into the constitutional position of your love for Krishna. Telling the world that you are suffering in this material world because of forgetfulness of Krishna. Make me an instrument to spread Krishna consciousness. To preach Krishna consciousness. To preach the message of Bhagavad Gita, preach the message of Bhagavatam. Let me do my might for the day. Your japa is over, your morning sadhana is over. You already Nama Prabhu as you have prayed to Nama Prabhu to bless you the whole day with seva apeksha. And during the day also, continuously, don't forget Nama Prabhu. Everything on He is the master, you are the servant. For his master, you are engaging in service. So, with these few things, introduction to Sat Bhavana Japa, to all of you, again, once again, foreground mind is doing mind. The doing mind is doing and knowing the sound. Background mind is there. Background mind, all these feelings are to be practiced. I am inspiring you to spend time to read these cards and practice it. This is not for you to immediately apply in the next few rounds that we are going to do. But basic what I have told, Shraddha, Preeti, Aghlada, Utsaha, Sambandha, Sharanagati. If you remember those, you feel that I will I will remind I will I will also remind you. And if you can immediately capture that feeling in your background, you capture it. And then you offer that to the Nama Prabhu, that one full mala. Nama Prabhu ki jai, Shila Prabhu ki jai. So let us start our...
third, second, third and fourth session of 16 round each to complete the Japa Yajna of 64 rounds. Yes. Ah, tell. The last day of the Kurukshetra war, when the war is over. Last Kurukshetra, day of? Kurukshetra war. Ah. The war is over. And uh, everybody has died, three people remain alive. One is Duryodhana mother, Duryodhana wife and Duryodhana sister. And uh, they have followed... Uh, uh, what, uh, this question, uh, some other day you ask. Okay, is it connected to Nama? It's not connected to Nama. We have, got, we have to finish our rounds by at least by 5.30. <coughs> Namah Vishnupadaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine <coughs>